Alright guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show us how to max an image into a shape. How to max an image into a shape. This process is very very easy. It's very very easy. Just pay close attention so that you will get it right. Pay close attention so you get it right. Alright, the first thing to do is to delete this test in front of your screen. Delete this test in front of your screen. Then after deleting it, then go over to your gallery. Go over to your gallery to import the image you are going to use. Once you import the image you are going to use, you are set to go. Select the image. Select the image of your choice. Then allow it to load. Once it loads, it's come out like this. Okay, select the good. Alright. Next thing you're going to do now is to position it. Position it very well. Position it. So having done this, next thing you do for me now is to lock up this image. Click here to lock it up. Once you click, select the padlock. Automatically, it's locked. Click back here to close this. All right, this image is locked now. It cannot be moved again. All right. Next thing you do for me now is to add a shape. Add a shape. We have two ways of adding shapes, which I have taught us. The first one is here, and the second one is here. All right. Let me select the down one. Click on shapes. So it's giving me a, a square shape. What's what I need is a circular shape. So click this place. It opens. You select your circular image shape. I need to say right. Close it and position the shape. Let the shape be inside inside the image. All right. Haven't done this. Next thing you do for me now is to copy copy means to duplicate click on copy the shape is duplicated now all right come back to the first one and change the color to red change the color to red and close all right having changed the color to red come over to that place you locked the first image and lock it too all right i lock it i close it back all right this second shape position it on top of the first one you created make sure it's lapping well if not use your position position icon to you know move it to position very well all right having achieved this next thing you're going to do is to come over to where you lock it lock the second image and turn off the visibility of the first shape you added which is here click on that eye there automatically to turn off the visibility of the first shape all right having done this click outside all right select another shape this is a square shape all right click out then position this rectangle uh, square shape and extend it so it can form a rectangular shape after extending it change the color to another color all right so i've used red before let me use black i've changed it to black click on good all right next thing to do now is to come over to that place you locked the first and second shape click on it all right what i'm going to do now is to move this second shape that's the circular shape this white one to move it above the rectangle to move it above the rectangle how do you do this click on this part of it click and hold that's that place that have eight dots click and hold and drag up i see now the circular shape is now in front of the rectangular shape all right the next thing you're going to do is to merge the two merge 
the number one shape now which is the circular one and the rectangular one that is the second one below if i want to merge click here then select the two and click this place so you can match it okay all right after merging it close this one and come over to erase color once you come to erase color enable it once you enable it i see what just happened all right select your good all right having enabled it next thing now to do now is to come back and turn the visibility of that first shape you created that's the one that's one in red color all right come here click on that icon again eye icon to turn the visibility on i've done that i seen that the visibility is now showing all right next thing to do now is to merge the first and the third shape an image you are seeing there does merge this and this you know how to merge now so click on that icon select the two and merge it all right having merged it like this place this thing back go to erase color again the second time go to erase color the second time click on it enable it once you enable it it will look like this next thing you are going to do for me is to click on this icon that looks like a picker that's this icon here click on it once you click on it it will display this it will display this all right move this to where you have the black color all right if you move there just tick the good all right i see what just happened okay the next thing to do is to take this color uh, tolerance take it back to zero once you take it back to zero i see you have succeeded in maxing this all right the last thing to do is to merge these two together merge it together having done that you have succeeded in maxing your image into this shape now you can choose to add background and choose to add background so that to make it beautiful and if you want to continue with designing it you can add background change change the color of this shape you just added let me change it to blue let me use blue all right having used blue i click on good next thing i want i was it to back send it to back means taking it to the back so that the one behind you can come up so click on to back the mask i have sent it to the back all right i see now that i have a fine fine design here all right this is simple whatever you can max your image into a shape i hope you guys got value if you got value please type on the comment section now i got value so that it will motivate me to create other videos for you so that you can watch and increase your digital skills all right be expectant because soon i will be dropping the next video but for now